Well, hi there. Happy day 13. Happy Friday the 13th. Happy Friday in general. Long week. All right. This morning, back to regular speed, regular amount of distance, regular time, 30 minutes. I woke up this morning. My back is killing me. But I know that if I didn't get on the treadmill and do at least a mile today, then I'd lose my running streak. And if I did at least a mile, maybe I'd do more. So, you know, it's it's sort of a, once you're here, eh, might as well do five more minutes and see how that goes. And five more minutes after that and see how that goes. So that's how this morning went. This run was a series of <laughs> incremental uh, victories, I guess you'd say, as I made those um, additional add-ons to what I only thought was going to end up being a mile. And I was helped along by some good old school stuff. Rage Against the Machine, Bomb Track, if you haven't heard that song. It's been out for ages. Um, go check out Rage Against the Machine. They're good to run to. So the reason why I got on the treadmill today was because I had goals. So I wanted to talk for a second about goals. It's important to have goals because goals keep you moving in the right direction. Um, what your goals are um, is very personalized. It's very specific to you. Um, do you aspire to run faster or further? Do you want to work out so that you're fit, so that you lose weight, so that you're healthy? You have to sort of figure out what those goals are, but you have to realize that it's not a one and done thing. You know, moving towards a goal means that you need to do it every day that you need to get up, that you need to put in the time. And that's what I was thinking about today because I know I have these goals. You know, um, I've got a half marathon coming up. It's a ways out. So if I take a day off, does that make a difference in the long run? Not really. But for me, taking a day off turns into taking two days off, turns into taking a week off, and then all of a sudden I've lost a ton of ground. So for me, it's important to keep those goals in mind. But beyond that, being healthy is a goal for me. Um, sustaining my health is a goal, so maybe that's a goal for you. Um, I think in the end, that's um, it maybe a, not, not a primary goal, but at least a secondary goal for most of us. But usually when we talk about goals, it's, uh, you know, dropping a certain amount of weight or preparing for a certain race or, you know, something along those lines. So it can be hard to kind of contextualize what you're doing on a daily basis unless you have a goal, unless you can really consider what those goals are and their concrete goals. It's not a nice to have, it's a, all right, by this date I want to be here or I want to be there. So those are some things that you have to do. You know, you have to sit down and really concrete plan some goals and, and put those goals down, write them down, make them, you know, actual written on paper goals that you can post somewhere and look at and realize you know, I got to get from here to there. So every day I've got to be making forward progress so that I can get to there. Um, and then it's important to be able to track goals too. You know, I, it's, it's good to have those little victories, those little mini successes that keep you moving in the right direction and lets you realize that you are moving in the right direction. Um, you know, so, so set yourself some intermediate goals as well. You know, if, if it's weight loss, for example, and you're trying to lose 25 pounds, then when you lose five pounds, that's a goal, an intermediate goal. When you lose 10 pounds, that's an intermediate goal. Or maybe you wait until you're halfway there and you lose 12 and a half pounds. But regardless of that, you need to make sure that you're, you know, giving yourself an opportunity to see that you're making positive progress towards your goals. And there's also an inherent danger to all those intermediate goals. Because if you're not making those on what you feel is a reasonable timeline, then you start to get stressed about the goal. And the more stressed about the goal you are, the less enjoyable it is to, to get there. And, you know, it's hard work. Some of these goals are, are not fun necessarily to attain with all the hard work that you put in, but it's that success that you get from obtaining those goals that's fun in the end. Um, so I'll do one more thing and then shut up for the day and let you enjoy your Friday. Don't get on the scale every day if you don't want to be disappointed and frustrated on a daily basis, it's tough because that's, that number is going to go up and down. But if you look at it weekly, if you look at it monthly, you'll see those successes more vividly. They'll stand out as successes. If you look at the day to day, you're going to see the up and you're going to see the down and that's okay. I mean, it's important to know what did you do the day before to impact what you're weighing today. 
but in some cases there's a little bit of a delay to your weight actually being impacted by activity. You'll see a short-term increase but maybe a long-term drop. So so just take that with some caution. You know, if you're if you're micromanaging things and you're you're really looking daily at those in you know intermediate goals that you're trying to set for yourself it can be a little frustrating sometimes so just keep that in mind you know if you're a, a person that looks every day I look every day just understand that there's gonna be days where it doesn't really make any sense but just keep context in mind so keep going keep moving forward towards your goals happy Friday do something good today and enjoy <laughs>